Hey, hey, hey! Hello to all my friends! Today I wanted to show you a special video and I hope you will find it interesting. We're gonna talk about Apple products. And I have a wonderful couple, they friends of mine, and they will give me an interview about Apple gadgets. So please stay tuned. So Apple first developed a personal computer many years ago and there has been a lot of disruption with the company and Steve Jobs came back to Apple and he decided to make some individual products hence the I in front of a lot of the Apple products the first product they made was an iPod and here's a small individual iPod which allows you to go and listen to your own personal music your own individual music tastes on a little device the iPod has changed and they made bigger iPods and ones with functional screens and then shortly after that came the iPhone. The iPod and iPhone nowadays look very much the same. They function pretty much the same except with the iPod you can't make phone calls with it because there is no internal antenna to do so. But the iPhone allows you to make phone calls and does pretty much everything else. Um, Usually every year Apple comes out with a new product uh, or a product line and the iPhone has been coming out, a new iPhone has been released almost every year. This is a 5S, the latest one is a 6 and a 6 Plus which is a larger screen. Um, the 5S came out with an individual fingerprint lock so it unlocks the phone. If it doesn't read your fingerprint because you have poor fingerprint or poor skin textile feeling, you can actually punch in the key code. To lock your phone, you press the top button. So with the iPhone, um, iPhone uh, Apple went and put a lot of money into the camera and a flash. So a lot of people use their iPhones as their own personal individual cameras now instead of carrying their, uh, an additional camera to their phone. It also does high definition video. There's also a front facing camera up top which allows you to do a Skype, FaceTime, so you can see and uh, the video as you're talking. It also plugs in here. You have your jack for your earplugs and your speakers and there's also the microphone. Um, the next product that they came out with was, because people want to see something bigger, was the iPad. The iPad is what they call a tablet and again has the fingerprint functionality with the button but you can also punch in the keypad and unlock it. Now on both these products is a voice activated assistant which they call Siri. Siri allows you to um, create reminders, calendar events, um, even read your texts that you receive on your phone, as well as put in text to send text. It can answer, it basically connects to the internet and can answer questions if you ask Siri those specific questions. To activate Siri, all you need to do is just press and hold the button, and then as you're speaking, Siri will ask what you want help with. You press the button again, and then Siri goes out and looks for it. Now, Apple came out with another service for the new iPhone, and that is called Apple Pay. Apple Pay um, is, allows you to pay for services and goods at stores using your mobile device, and it can be the iPad, the iPhone, and now the new Apple Watch. So the way it works is you put in your payment information on your your one of your mobile devices, but more specifically your iPhone or iPad, and then you can use your phone or your iPad when you're at the store to pay. You just put it close to the credit card device and it reads your credit card information and pays for it. Not all that credit card information is not stored on your phone, it is not stored on your iPad, and it is definitely not stored on your Apple Watch. Um, so if somebody ever does take your phone or take your iPad or take your watch, they cannot get your credit card information. It is encrypted. 
Um, again, it is not stored on the device. Um, there's two chips in here and your personal information is on a separate chip. If you have one of your devices ever taken, um, your each device is normally put in, uh, connected to what we call an Apple ID. The Apple ID allows you to um, buy music and buy apps to load on your devices. And when you put those apps down, that is associated to a credit card information. The, these devices all connect to Apple service called the iCloud. And that cloud allows you to put pictures. It also allows you to back up your devices to it and store files and, re and emails and contact lists and so forth. So a lot of that information is not stored on your device. It is stored on a server somewhere else. And uh, with Apple Pay, is the, that payment information is actually stored with the bank. The bank keeps your credit card information. Apple does not. Apple does not keep your fingerprint for the fingerprint key. That is actually inside your phone. It, again, if any of these devices are ever taken, you can locate your device using the iCloud service. And you could, if you wanted to, wipe the phone, which means to completely erase the phone, completely erase the iPad. So if anybody ever stole it, you can completely erase it and then lock it. So it basically becomes meaningless to the person who now has it. And we call it a brick. It does nothing but lie there. Um, the Apple Watch allows you to turn, uh, basically, obviously, tell time. There's a lot of other things that you can put on the screen. Uh, by pressing the little button here, it shows you some of the apps you can go and load and tap and run. You can also change the clock face by a hard tap, and then you can see the different clock faces you have including the famous one, which is Mickey Mouse. And you can customize some of these clock faces to what you want. On my clock face, I'm showing the time, the calendar, the temperature outside. I have an alarm here, shows me my battery life, and also a health meter so I can see how many calories I've burned. By tapping on it, it shows me some of the activity I've done so far today. The secondary button allows me to see the contacts I have on my phone. So I can spin the crown and go to each contact and I can make a phone call to a contact or send a text message. So I just tap on the contact once I get to them and then I have either a text message or I can make a phone call. And yes, you can call and receive phone calls using the Apple Watch. The only caveat is the Apple Watch I'm not sure you really want to have a conversation with your watch so everybody can hear it. The Apple Watch is connected via Bluetooth to your, app, to your I, Apple iPhone. So you need to have an iPhone to have all the full functionality of an Apple Watch. Now, Apple has another product called the Apple TV, which we can talk about later.